What I'm going to talk about is a new movement, I believe, in how we're going to be designing and building the world. And I call that in two words, cybertecture and urban innovation. Cybertecture means an integration of the knowledge and application of our design skills with our technological skills. In fact, we are surrounded by a world which is already created out of science. And in the times to come, the opportunities are there for us to build a better world through an integration of both those things. But immediately facing us is the issue of urbanization. And that's why today I like to introduce to you this idea of urban novation. Urban novation is the integration of urban issues and innovation. And together, these two words represent some of the greatest opportunities for us to rebuild our world, to make it more sustainable, more economically powerful, and most importantly, alleviate the suffering of the people that live in our cities. We have seen our cities change over time. And in fact, when you look at this slide, you might expect a city to be defined by the picture on the top half of the image. But in fact, the city below is actually newer than the city at the top. The city at the top is Hong Kong, my home city. It's an economically powerful city, but it is in a way under decline because now the world economy is not so strong. The city below is growing at an even faster rate. In fact, the city below is a million person city created in less than six months and has been made out on the borders of Syria by the refugees who have escaped their war-torn country. We are facing these issues as we design our cities in the future, and we must bear in mind that as people come together to live, we need to design them better under difficult circumstances. And in fact, this conference is very much about looking at those opportunities and those overlaps, which allow us to bring the flavor of both to the lives of the people that will be living in the newly designed cities. But of course, also, we should not forget about our culture. The lady on the left-hand side is uh, doing Chinese opera, which is my culture, my heritage. But we are now beginning to see our cultures through new lenses, through, like the person on the right-hand side, virtual reality. We are looking at the world differently. And as all of us are agents of change, professionals, designers, constructors, manufacturers, scientists, we are beginning to see our world differently, but not necessarily having to uh, be rid of what is very important to us, which is our traditions and our cultures.